uh, I blogged about this and I wrote down six actions that I think everyone should take. Welcome, Gregor. You promised to talk about how to protect yourself when cloud services disappear. Uh, I blogged about this and I wrote down six actions that I think everyone should take before their cloud service disappears. Mm. Can you do a quick recap of the problem? The problem is that we are becoming more and more dependent on cloud services. Often these are hidden behind other things we buy. For instance, uh, when you go to your dentist, how do you book a time? Through a cloud service. So what's your recommendation how to protect yourself? Well, you have to protect yourself before your cloud service disappears, right? Mm -hmm. And the first thing that you need to do is realize that many services that you buy, many devices that you buy, now are smart and have a cloud service behind them. Mm, like a smart TV? Well, yes, a smart TV, a Cognitoy, um, connected car, um, smart home device, alarm system. There are so many things that are dependent on cloud services to actually operate at all or um, in a nice way. So y you might have more cloud services that you use than you really realize. You should think about your relationship with your provider. Are, you, are they providing a valuable service to you? And obviously they are because you're buying the service, but are you valuable to them? If you, no long-term relationship in business can survive unless it's a win-win relationship where you are as important to them as they are to you. In the Revolve case, uh, there was a one-off payment no recurring revenue for Revolve. And, well, that's nice when you enter the relationship. But if you're not giving anything back, uh, it becomes hard for them to give something back to you. You need to keep independent backups of your data and your settings. Because the day that, that the cloud service uh, disappears, or even, uh, even you know, your account could be locked out, or you could delete your data yourself or, you know, lots of things could happen. And, and then the backup that is provided by the service will no longer be available to you. So you need to have an independent backup of all your data. You should prefer, if possible, services based on open standards and especially open APIs because then it will be possible to replace one service with another service. But of course, if it's a novel disruptive service, probably there isn't any standard yet. So that's why I said prefer, not always choose. Mm -hmm. So if I buy a new car, there will probably not be a second supplier for that services. Right now, maybe not, but I think in the future you will be able to buy the self-driving ability of your car from a number of different providers. We already have car manufacturers creating self-driving ability. We have Google creating self-driving ability, so there will be a choice and possibly you can even retrofit an old car with self-driving ability. You have to have the right contract that allows you to leave the relationship in a good way so that you, know, you don't suddenly discover that all your data belongs to the provider, for instance, and you can't download it. And uh, you know, does it allow the, how much notice period would you need if they decided to shut down the service? 30 days, 90 days, one year? Well, what does your contract say? Usually it's 30 days. Is that good enough for you? Can you be prepared for a 30 day notice period? Well, you should keep scanning the market. Just because you selected the best service two years ago, it doesn't mean it is still the best service. It's much better that you move to a new service while you still have the choice than to be forced to do it in a hurry when your previous service disappears. Yeah. So what are the six bullets? Realize that there are many more cloud services in your life than you might have thought. Uh, 
make sure that you have a win-win relationship with your provider. Keep independent backups of your data. Prefer, if possible, services based on open standards and open interfaces. Make sure that your contract allows a graceful exit when the service disappears. And keep scanning the market. Are you on the best service? This is six valuable advices from you. And we can read more on your blog, gregevikstan.com. Please do. It's an interesting article, I think. And please add your comments, because maybe there are more than six points you should think about. Thank you very much. And welcome back next week to Architecture Corner. Thank you, Casimir.